Hey everyone, this is Kobe Coffer, and today this is our my third Flash tutorial. I'm going to show you a few things, but first I'm going to show you, uh, first of all, how to make an enemy with health, and how to make your character shoot, and a next level. Start by drawing our enemy, or you could import it from a web document, whichever you prefer. Uh, I'm just going to make this enemy just a red ball. Maybe it can move around later. We'll get to that. You can really just name it anything. I'm just going to name it um, Bad Guy for now. Instance name of anything. Just make it simple. Let's go inside of our enemy. Let's make a new layer right here. And that layer will have a health bar in it. Whoops, didn't mean that. Alright, so go to our rectangle tool and let's draw a health bar. Make sure you have the outside border because that will come in handy later on. Let's draw it real quick. And make it a symbol of enemy H, enemy health. Just call it enemy HP instance name. Let's go inside it and separate the border from this inside part so cut cut that and then whoops then make a new layer and paste it. Make that layer under it. Alright here we go. So now lock the border layer and just keep on making keyframes as the health gets smaller, like we did with the player health. Really simple. And at the end, just insert blank keyframe and insert frame. Alright, so the first frame of this health bar, just actions. Stop, two parentheses. And on the last frame, do root dot. Uh, I forgot what we called the enemy, but let's just let's call it enemy dot unload movie, which just unloads the entire movie clip of the enemy when this frame gets here. Ah, all right. So just enemy, and always remember to save your project. Okay, now we have this basic health bar, but now, first, now let's make the character shoot so that the health can go down. Alright, draw your little bullet real quick. Rounded rectangle helps. Uh, let's just make a little uh, blue or green. Alright. Shape it however you want, or import it off online for the other things. Okay, make that a symbol. Um, just call it shooter shooting. And then shoot can be instance name. All right, let's go inside this movie clip and just make different keyframes of it moving forward a little bit. And then in the actions of the last frame, do go to and play one. And in the first frame, an action should be stop with two parentheses. That tells it stop means that the animation does not play until we tell it to later on. Alright, save our project again. And let's put this somewhere where we won't see it for now. This is my way of making a shooting player. There's other ways, but this is a simpler way in my mind. Alright, now for the actions. Um, first, for all movie clips, pretty much you got to do on clip event, enter frame, or on mode, anything else, something like that. And then, 
if key dot is down, which means if this key is being held, uh, space, key dot space, this dot x, sorry, this dot x equals root dot player dot x and x is the variable for horizontal in case you didn't know alright then this dot y equals root dot player dot y plus or was it minus uh, we'll just do minus for now minus 60 and then outside of that whole statement do else which means if that's not true then this dot x equals root dot player dot x this dot y equals root dot player dot y but now in this first statement which is the key dot space thing under this click um type in what was it uh this dot next frame and then in this one in the else statement put this dot go to and play one and then let's go back inside this just in the first frame just erase the entire thing just in the first frame so it goes like all right All right, let's see what it looks like right now. All right, so if you hold down the space bar, then if you keep holding it down, then it keeps on shooting, which is good for now. But now we got to make some more actions for the enemy. All right, go into the enemy, enemy's actions, and on, on clip event and a frame first. And then do, um, this is a hit test statement. We might not have done this before, but if parentheses root dot, what did we name the thing? Shoot dot hit test this. And then the action would be, um, this dot enemy HP dot next frame. And let me just test if that works real quick. It should. Yes. Alright, but now as you see, it's kind of easy to kill right now that enemy. So let's just make it a little bit harder. Or you can have it easy for now when the character levels up, which I'll get to in later tutorials. Alright, so then go back into the shoot actions. And then outside of all these statements, the space statements, just do a new thing called <coughs> if root dot enemy dot hit test this and then it was this dot go to and play one so let's see what that looks like now Oh, it didn't work. Wait. Make it two. Alright, um, let's just erase this from the bullet and copy this to the enemy. So, just cop, cut, cut and copy that. And then, then replace this with root dot shoot dot go to and play to. Or better yet, dot next frame.
Oh, that's the same issue. Um, go to and play two. Here we go. This is what I wanted. So as you see, it's a little bit um, easier to kill the enemy, but not much. Actually, replace the go to and play two with one. I just did that in the when I paused it, but replace it with one. That should work better. Here we go. All right. Cool. So now let's make the enemy shoot back at you. So it's not a little more of a challenge here. So make a new layer in your enemy. Lock the current layer, and then just make it a little enemy bullet. I'm gonna do a poly star, just octagons. Make it have eight sides. This is just my personal thing. You can skip this step if you already have a bullet planned out, or just draw it and pause the video if you want. Alright, and we'll name it, um, Enemy Shoot. Instance name could be Enemy Shoot. And make it, like, start where the enemy is. And go inside that. And do the same thing we did for the other bullet. The more it goes, the more range the enemy has, pretty much. I'm just going to do it to here. Um, first one's not stopped because we wanted to kind of keep going. You can do a more complex code with later tutorials with this, but for now, just like at the end frame, do. Um, wait, nothing at the end frame. Alright, so now we have this. And actually, in the actions. Of the enemy bullet, type in on clip event enter frame, and if root dot player dot hit test this, and then this dot go to and play one, and root dot vcam dot hp dot next frame and that tells it that when it comes in contact with the player that this hp goes down and this bullet restarts from the current frame so let's see how that looks see like you're losing health right here it's kinda like a little fight and that this is my on my part at the end of this vcam still right now make sure at the end of the at the hp actions root dot wait sorry one second for me this is just making it go to the this frame where it says like you have died retry Start. All right, I won that battle. So then, all right. So that's that part of the tutorial. Now, really quickly, I'll just do um, a next level thing. Okay, really quick. Um, so let's drag this over. Actually, let's label this last frame. Label it an end frame, so that way I don't have to keep on changing in the VCAM when this frame gets moved. And make a keyframe here too. All right, so go back to here, and then in quotes when it goes to and stop, in quotes put um end. So that way, whatever number the frame is, it'll always go to that frame, which is good. Alright, now let's go to the next frame we just made and change things up a little bit. 
I'm going to delete this. I'll make a lot of enemies just to make it more frustrating and hard. Actually, I should have had that health packet. Uh. All right, here we go. And then at the first frame, just make a little portal or something where the player can go into to transport him to the next level. So you can trip yours out however you want, all kinds of effects, filters. So just portal. Instance name of portal, and then over here, just do um all kinds of things. I usually do inner shadows, like <coughs> excuse me, and inner glow to make it look cool. You could do whatever you want, though, pretty much. All right, and then the actions do. First on clip event. And all these codes are case sensitive too, so you have to be careful how you type them. But I will have these codes in the description. Uh, on NFR. Oh, yeah. Um, and then another hit test. So, root.player.hit test this. Root.go to and stop uh, 4, which is the next frame. Alright, see how that looks. Whoops. Alright, wait. And it should return the player to its original spot. So um the X is two two. 2 and the Y is 242. So then you go back to this portal and put um, root.player.x equals 222 and is 242. Alright. See how that looks. I guess that didn't work, but oh well. So we got, we can work on multiple enemies in a later tutorial, but the basic idea is that we got down shooting enemies and we got down next level and we got down a shooting player. So I think we did a lot.